Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at Notes in iOS 9. Now, Apple have changed the new Notes app and I'm going to go through the new features. So many of these features are similar to OS 10 El Capitan so you may be familiar with some of those if you watch my video. Obviously you can now click on screen the top right hand corner if you want to check out that video on notes in OS 10 or Capitan, but let's dive straight into this video. And I'm going to be for this video. I'm going to be doing a making sort of a kitchen plan, just a random sort of thing. So I'm just going to type in here kitchen um, plan. Just going to add colons, and I can highlight this, and I can add many new formatting options. So if I go down here, um. I can highlight this and I can click the arrow and add various options. Oh, I'm just going to select all of that. I'm just going to make it bold and underline it. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to demonstrate the new um the new toolbar. So down here I do have a little toolbar which has all my various options. So, first I'm going to show you how to create a checklist. So, if I want to, I can just type. Um, I can just type anything. So, um, as you can see, my toolbar pops up. If I can click on the checklist icon, like I did with El Capitan, and if I'm just going to write um, things to do and just do that and I can highlight all of this click on the text icon and I can choose to underline it make it italics and that sort of thing I'm just going to make that heading and I will change this kitchen plan wording to heading sorry not heading um, is there a title there you go title and I'm just going to bring this things to do down now I'm going to create a checklist so if I just click on the checklist icon which is on the toolbar is the f button furthest to the left I'm just going to start typing so if I want to type um, fit um, tiles on the floor and then I'm going to type you know like fix worktop and now I'm just going to wrong typing and now I'm just going to type in um, add right, order kitchen sink. And however, you know I've got a um, um, sink I'm going to order. And what I can do is if I just click enter a couple of times, I'm actually going to show you a new sharing feature within Safari. So if I go to my home screen, I launch Safari. I've got this web page open here, and this is the tap I'm going to be um, ordering to go on this new kitchen. If I click the share icon, I can click notes, and what this will do is it will create a little thumbnail and add text. Um, I'm going to add text new tap on sync. I'm just going to choose the note I want it on kitchen plan and click save. Now, if I go into notes, as you'll see down here, I've got a little thumbnail with my note, and I can just click, and it will take me straight to this website where I've got my um, tap that I'm going to order. So that's a very nice feature, and you can also add photos by clicking on this icon. You can choose a photo from your photo library or take a take a new photo photo or video um, now I'm going to um, show you how you can use the new drawing feature so if I click on the fourth icon fourth yellow icon from the left of the toolbar it's a little squiggle and it'll bring up this little pane where I can now start um, drawing so I'm just going to draw design. I can click on this ruler and it will bring up a sort of virtual ruler which I can use. Now I haven't played around with this too much. Oh, there you go. So I can change the angle of the ruler just by 
um, taking two fingers and rotating it just like you do with a photo. Click on this pencil and I'm just going to draw a simple sketch and as you can see it will draw along and you it will give you a sort of measurement to help you along and I'm just going to turn the ruler um, try and get it as exact as I can draw another line, this is going to be just pretending to I'm not even sure what this will be but I'm just going to try this out just to sort of show you how it works let's draw along there and then I'll turn the ruler 90 degrees again so again I'm not sure really what I'm drawing here but I'm just going to draw it anyway and I can change colours here it's a nice feature move the ruler out of the way, I'm just going to draw a quick sketch obviously I'm doing it to the context of a kitchen plan so measurements and that sort of thing I'm just going to choose a marker which doesn't want to engage but oh well I'll use my pencil then and now I'll do two meters not very good drawing but it's only a demo two meters and well it's a square so two meters so I can click done and now that sketch will be in my notes so in line with my notes so that's a nice feature so I guess that's pretty much it with notes um, if I go back you can see obviously I've only got one note on in this folder however notes are categorized by um, time so that's something that you might want to know and if you click down in the bottom left hand corner there's a sort of icon that says four, has sort of four boxes if I click on that this will view my attachments so it will show me all the attachments in this folder so it will show me my sketches and obviously the websites which I added to that note just now and and click on a attachment and it will and I can click go to note and it will open the note that this attachment came from so that's a very nice feature in notes and I think overall the notes app is very it has refined and it's much better than before and I can click the share button at the top obviously share my notes once I've finished um, creating them if I want to do that do that but yeah that's about it with notes on iOS 9 um, if you've got any questions or comments obviously do put them down below um, you can get in contact with me in any other way I have all the ways of getting in contact with me up at the end of the video and also in the description thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the